So I'll go ahead and just rig up one of these tails so you can just see how to do it. And it's really uh, not too hard. The biggest, the biggest, uh, most important, uh, I would say, aspect of it is that you want the bait to look perfectly, uh, I guess, straight uh, once the hook is in there. Like if the bait is all kinked over like that, it's just going to helicopter onto it. It's not going not to look good. So as far as hooking it, I always just hold it. Hold it where it's going to be, right? You want the, the basically the top of the bait to uh, go all the way up to the jig. So I hold it up there and then I note where the hook will naturally be coming out for it to be perfectly straight. So I put my thumb right there and then I go through the top of the bait and just be sure to go straight down the middle the entire way. And then I go up to where my thumb is and then I'll pop it out the top. And again, you want it to be at the very top of the bait. So I see that's that's off center. I do not. I want to redo it. So I'll go up and pop it straight out the top. Perfect. So there you can see that's right down the center of the bait. And then once you do that, then you just push it over the over that hump, and there you are. So that's uh, again that's perfectly straight bait. You can see we'll we'll twist it around. You can see there's really no no kinks in it. So that's going to do it. That's going to have just a nice action. And for these jigs, highly highly recommend having the loop knot. This gives it just a lot of flexibility where just the lure will have some good action. And uh, what we've done is uh, I've sunk a GoPro over here uh, about 50 feet in front of the boat. So I'm going to go cast it in front of the camera and that way you can see exactly what it looks like underwater. <laughs> Alright, so there's a camera mounted around that pole underwater over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast it in front of it so you can see uh, just what it'll look like underwater. And it's actually pretty shallow here, so I need to, oh, <laughs> that was not, uh, not expected. So I was trying to do a dip over here and I uh, got something. This might be a snook. <laughs> I hope that's on camera uh, underwater because, yeah, we just, got, uh, we just got ourselves a snook. So, yep, these jigs, jigs certainly do work. <laughs> All right, so uh, demo snook action, pretty uh, pretty funny. Let's go clean off the hands. And so, so after catching the fish, uh, you always just want to that snook had twisted around, so always want to get it back, uh, back looking natural again with the the hook going straight out the top. So now let's see if we can uh, do a demo without catching something. First time I've ever wanted to not catch a fish on a cast. So we'll do it again. And this time now we're at a different angle, so you'll be able to see my rod tip as it's moving. And I, I don't do very long jerks, just really quick ones. Um, so let's go ahead and cast out there. And so again, it's, it's real shallow right there. It's only about two feet, so I've got to keep it moving pretty quickly. And, uh, and again, you can see just the rod tip, it's just barely, it's just kind of doing those two quick little pops. And that snook, uh, hopefully that was all being filmed, that snook hit right, pretty much all the fish hit as the lure is dropping down. Uh, by far the most popular time. So let's do that again so we can, uh, oh, got a weed on there. Shake that guy off. There we are. Do it again. Hopefully we can get this one on film underwater. Again, just quick little jerks. And this is real shallow, so I always recommend to have the rod tip up. Uh, that way, obviously, it'll keep the rod, the, the lure a little bit higher up in the water column. But more importantly, if you are going over a fish, the line won't hit the fish's back and spook it. You'll just have a higher percentage, a higher chance of, uh, of, of catching fish and not spooking them. So one last time, do that one right in front of the camera. Again, just quick little pops, quick little pops, let it sink. And that's it. <laughs>